Hello guys, Nato Ace here once again, and this is going to be a vlog about my thoughts on Splatoon. Yes, I did participate on the Splatoon Global Test Fire, aka demo slash beta, and I want to give my thoughts about it. So, what do I think about the game? Well, as for the gameplay itself, it's not bad. It's actually a fun game. It is a third person shooter squad in a cartoonish way. So, yeah, it's fun. You know, it's kitty violence because you're still shooting people but with ink. And a lot of a different rule here. So, I mean, the, the gameplay was actually not bad. It, it's your generic thing. You turn into a squid. You can actually jump. And then you can even do squid jump when you turn into a squid. Yeah, and think of it as playing Ratchet and Clank 3 up your arsenal, I think that's what it's called. Or, yeah, Up Your Arsenal and Ratchet and Clank, uh, the Deadlock or Dreadlock. <laughs> Been so long. For the, it was from the PS2. That's what I kind of felt like playing the, while well, playing the Ratchet and Clank game multiplayer. It's exactly that's what it is. Except instead of weapon, like multiple weapon. Well, the only difference is that you basically, the rules, because I was, of course, you're playing Turf War, but the other one is, is that. You're turning to squid. That's the only bit different, but it is kind of feel like playing the multiplayer for Ratchet and Clank, which is not bad. I played it. It's fun. <laughs> graphic. It's a Nintendo standard. Pretty good. 60 frame. Beautiful graphic. There's really nothing bad there. So, now let's go to the detail part here. Do I feel like the game needed a voice chat? And the answer for that one is. Yes, I think you do need a voice chat because the reason is, to some extent, you do need communication while in battle. Because sometimes what's happening is you're trying to shoot someone and then you don't know there's somebody behind you. Oh, you got shot from the back. And if someone saw that, how, how are they going to communicate? And say, hey, you know, watch it. There's somebody behind you. Especially when someone has a roller, which I'm going to explain that later about the roller. I'm sorry to say, but I think it's overpowered there and I'm going to explain that later. So yes, I think voice chat is needed to some especially with this rank battle. It has to be there. And I I say that it should have been an option rather than oh let's take it away because we don't want bad apples messing the game. I mean again that is the old way of thinking. I'm sorry to say again, this is a mentality of a grandpa from Nintendo. I'm sorry to say. Basically old school. That's what it means when I said grandpa. But the point is Again, it, I think it didn't voice chat. Too bad they're not going to put it in. They already stated they're not going to add it in. I think it's a missed opportunity. It does need voice chat here. So, again, Nintendo, you dropped the ball on that part to some extent. I know your reasoning is, but that's old school. That's done. That's why there's an option to mute someone if you want to. If they don't want to have a voice chat, they can just turn it off on the option. That's it. So, the weapons... In the game are pretty good. I would oh, I would recommend if you're a shooter, use the Splatoon, the Splatter Junior. It's faster, had a shorter range, but it has more bullets. And then the subway. Well, I guess when you play the full game, you probably can choose and pick what other like combination you have: your sub weapon, your special weapon, and your main weapon. But for the main wep main weapon, I would say the the Splatter Junior. For the sub weapon, I would say the ink bomb, pretty good. <laughs> Excuse me. And I think for special, you have to use that big satellite gun. That's actually pretty good. That's the best weapon. Really powerful. So now I'm going to talk about one of the main weapons that I think is overpowered, in my opinion, is the roller. Well, what the roller is, it's a melee weapon. When you, pr when you press the sh shoot button, it'll just, he'll swing it. Like when you're, you're splattering um, the paint on the wall, and even that's overpowered because if they hit someone, they automatically gets hit or destroyed. Let's just say that. But the roller is good to cover all the turf. But every time you hit someone, it's like a car <laughs> hitting a person. Bad analogy, but that's what it is. That's how it's overpowered because one touch of that, boom, you get destroyed. And if two people collide. 
it's a double distri- double KO. So I don't know how you can fix that, but I think the roller is overpowered. I know it's a it's a melee weapon, but still, it's like man, that is <laughs> that's overpower. I'm sorry. So basically, from one. I played again. It's a fun game. Now I did watch also the Nintendo Direct. Here's the biggest question, in my opinion. And it, it, right now it is kind of hard because the game's not out yet. But I'm gonna do my like, pre-assessment. Let's just say that. <sighs> Excuse me. Do I think this game worth sixty dollars to all the content? And that's my the amiibo feature. Unfortunately, I have to say no. Here's the reason why. One. Some of the additional mode that's gonna come is gonna come is gonna come after. That's the downside. It's gonna come after what the game is. It is a free update, but it's supposed to be part of the game, part of the sixty dollar. But you have to wait later on. Uh, I can understand. I mean, you probably can get away with it because it is free. Because remember, it's Smash Brother. There was supposed to be a tournament mode that supposed to be Super Smash Brother for the Wii U and 3DS. It still wasn't out yet. Uh, people still waiting for it in one of the new stages. The Miiverse stage is <laughs> not even out yet for Smash Brother. I don't know what's going on. We'll probably find out on E3 2015. So, do I think this game is worth $60? Minus the DLC and the Amiibo feature? No. I have to say this one has to be worth $40. And if they really need to make money to some extent, probably 50 But that's also asking too much. I think this game is a $40 game, I'm sorry to say. There's not really a lot of depth in this game. I mean, it is not Call of Duty, I'm sorry. Call of Duty has more depth to some extent. And I'm not a fan, I don't play Call of Duty game, but I can understand what they include in Call the, a lot of those Call of Duty games. Just putting it out there. Yeah, you got those multiplayer, and then there's also the single player. I don't even know how long the mul- the single player is. So that's also the part. They didn't really say much. <laughs> Hopefully the review will say it. But as of right now, because the game's not out yet, I have to say the game is not worth $60. $40, I think, stop. If it was $40, I would buy it for $40. But $60, nope, sorry, unfortunately... That's that's too expensive in my book, and I thought it was gonna be forty. But and even in what I said that he was gonna try to make the games more affordable, but sixty dollars on an affordable game. I'm sorry to say, I mean Smash Brother for the Wii U for sixty bucks makes sense because there, there was a lot of mode in that game. There, he put a lot of mode, but for Splatoon, not so much. So I think it's a forty dollar game. So I hope it is a forty dollar game. But right now, I think it does look like it's going to be a $60 game. Sorry, Nintendo. I know it's a new IP. That's why people love it. Because it's been a while when they've done a new IP. I mean, the last big new IP they've really done for the core gamer. Not the Wii, not the Wii series. Not Wii Fit, Wii Sports, or Wii Play. <clears throat> was Pikmin. That was the new IP. That was in the GameCube era. So, again... I know it's a new IP, but I still think this game is not worth sixty dollars. I'm sorry. Forty, I think, is good. That's the right number. Fifty, if you really need to make money back. So, there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the Splatoon Global Fire Test. Good game. The price is not right there as of right now. So, thanks for listening. That's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.